Hey everyone, it is Sparkle and welcome back to my channel. So I came back with a, another dining room update and um, pretty much everything is the same except for my curtain panels. So I did change those out and I do like these so much better. Um, for the video, I did give y'all a little table setup. I didn't put any wine glasses or anything like that. I just did something quick just for the video. So I just added um, this dinnerware set and the napkins. The napkins, I used these uh, before, but these are from Kohl's. And I just put a gold napkin ring on there. And that is from Bed Bath & Beyond. And this is a, what is this, 16 piece dinnerware set that is from Walmart. It's by the brand Anchor. It comes with four of the dinner plates, um, four of the salad plates, and it does come with four bowls, but I didn't use those. So have my same centerpiece in the middle. I just removed the tray. Yeah, so I just did this little setup for y'all because it's not gonna stay like this, so. And then, like I said, um, my panels came in and I do love them. They are a little wrinkled, but the wrinkles will fall out because I don't think I'm gonna steam these. But yeah, so these worked out perfect. So I'm really liking it, liking it so much better. Um, y'all know I did say I do have some other stuff coming. I was supposed to, um, have a package come Friday, but it got delayed. It's supposed to come today. So yeah, I'm waiting on that. And that's for my living room. So, and everything is the same. I took the dinner napkins off of here. If y'all didn't see my last video, I'll post that somewhere in here or in the description box where I had my other curtain panels up. But these ones are so much better. Like they look so much better. Um, as far as for over here, I did take out the black tulips and just replace them with these ones. So yeah, I did that. And I do have um, a tablescape that I wanna do, table setting. That'll be sometime this week. So y'all stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is, um, this is it. And I, I don't know, y'all, I just, I just love these. Panels, everything came out perfect. Um, I'm going to keep these up for the rest of the year. So I'm loving it. Loving it. And I went on and decided to put up these white sheer panels because I was going to do gray, but I like a lot of natural lighting. So I didn't want it to be too dark. I didn't want it to be too dark. So I was like, let me just go on and just put up my white panels. And that's what I did. And you can see the details. They have the, um, the stripe in them. So I really like these too. So that's why I didn't do the gray or the purple. Just went on and used the white. It's much brighter. And then when I do my videos, my table settings, It'll look much better. It won't look so dark. Because the other panels, um, y'all know the panels. Hold on. These ones, these are the ones I just took down. And they did look nice. Um, they were light filtering where a lot of light, you know, just a little light did come through. But it just wasn't enough to me. It still looked a little dark. So... I may put these in the bedroom. Um, I thought about the living room, but I don't think I'm gonna do that, y'all. And I wanted to um, talk about, like when you do a table setting, um, like if it's just for decoration, that is fine. You can do it for decoration. If you don't, um, if you don't wanna add the wine glasses and the silverware, you don't always have to do that. You can keep it simple. You can just put the plates down and 
you can just leave it like that. Now, um, I prefer, like if you, if you don't have a lot of dinnerware or if you're just starting out, um, my thing is I would start off with some clear dinnerware because it goes with anything. And also I would do white. So those are the two things that I would start off with first. And then, you know, you can um, change out your napkin colors. You can do the gold napkin rings, the silver, and so on and so on. But, um, you know, me, if you're anything like me, sometimes, um, well, never, I never have my table set up like this for everyday use or whatever. Um, but if you are that person and you don't like a lot of stuff on your table, you just want something simple, then you can do something like this. You, you don't have to use these. You can um, just use a nice um, floral centerpiece. You could do that. Um, if you want something big and bold, in my last video, I showed you another option that you could do. But like I say, y'all, it's all up to you. But starting off, I highly suggest that you get you some white dinner plates or some clear to start off with. Gold napkin rings and silver napkin rings are also good as well. So that's what I wanted to say. Like I say, you don't have to do the, the wine glasses and all that unless you want to. But yeah, I just wanted to, um, yeah put that out there all right so I said well I was talking about this centerpiece that I did in my last video and I said well shoot why not just show it to them just in case you didn't see it but this is what I was talking about this is a DIY that I did and everybody loved it but what I am going to do y'all so y'all stay tuned for this video I'm going to do another floral arrangement uh, most likely using the purple but I'm gonna do it over. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this ginger jar or I might use another vase, I, I, I don't know. But y'all stay tuned for that. But I will definitely do another big and bold floral arrangement. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you like, stay tuned. But yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Um, you can do something like this. Of course you would position your chairs a different way one on each that um one on that side and one on that side and so forth and so forth so yeah but this is um another option that you can do as well any kind of florals of your choice you can do that so yeah that's what i wanted to show y'all um so you can do that and you don't have to um, have the dinner plates on the table. Either one would look nice. You know, with this, I would definitely take um, the dinner plates off. Unless you have a big, long table, like a rectangle table that's really long, then you can definitely do a big floor arrangement with the dinner plates. But if I was gonna sit this on my dining table and if I was gonna keep it there, I definitely, like especially with the way my table is, I would definitely um, take off the plates. So that's what I would do. But um, that's it, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. <music>